Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how you can transfer WhatsApp chat from your Android to iPhone. This is a guaranteed method and is a paid software. I have tried many free methods and none of them worked. So if your WhatsApp data is important to you and you are ready to pay a small fees, this method is for you. So let's start the video, but before I start. A big shout out to Altphone, who is also the sponsor of this video. They are providing some great software for iOS and Android data recovery, WhatsApp transfer, iCloud activation unlocked and so on. At the moment they are having a huge discount for their products. You will need to install WhatsApp transfer tool on your Mac or PC. It costs around $25 for a monthly subscription. There is an additional $5 off. Moving on, since we are transferring data from Android to iPhone, so first thing I will do is delete my WhatsApp from iPhone and install a new one. Once installed, keep the iPhone aside. Now enable developer option on your Android smartphone. Go to about, software information and click on the build number 7 times to enable it. Once enabled, go to developer option and turn on USB debugging on your Android smartphone. After doing so, connect your Android smartphone to your Mac or PC. You should see a green Android icon stating that your phone is connected. Now click on allow USB debugging on your Android smartphone. Now connect your iPhone to your Mac with lightning to USB-C cable. <laughs> Once connected, you should see a blue color Apple icon. You might get a trust this computer message. Mine is already trusted, so I'm not getting this message. So now we have both the smartphones connected to Altphone software. Click on transfer and then click on continue. You need to backup data on source device, which is Samsung. Go to WhatsApp, click on chat, click on chat backup. Now here, click on backup to Google Drive and choose the option never as we want this backup to be on the device and not on the Google Drive. After this, click on backup and wait until it finishes the complete backup. Once done, go to your Mac and click on continue. It will retrieve all the backup you have recently done on your Android smartphone. Now you need to log into your WhatsApp number from computer. Type the same number and click on verify. Since I have activated end-to-end -end encryption, it's asking for a password, otherwise it will not ask. Click on continue and again click on continue. You will get verification code on your Samsung mobile. Type the code here and click on verify. So now you have all your backup ready to be transferred to your new iPhone. Here you can choose the backup and also you get option to skip something, like animated GIFs or audio. But I will select everything and click continue. Now you need to log into WhatsApp with same number on your iPhone. You will again get a code on your Samsung as the SIM card is on Samsung. Type the same code on your iPhone. Here you can skip restore. And now you have logged into the WhatsApp. Go back to your Mac or PC and click on logged in. Very important thing, you will need to log out from your Find My iPhone. So go to settings, type Find My iPhone and log out by typing your password. Again go back to Mac and click on try again. You can see the message that WhatsApp restore is in progress and now it's done. Your iPhone will reboot now. Once rebooting is done, type your PIN and go to WhatsApp. And here we are. All my data is transferred to iPhone successfully. All my videos, audio, everything is successfully transferred from my Samsung to my iPhone without any loss of data. So that's it guys. I hope the video was easy for you to understand. Please do write me in the comments below if you still find any difficulty or if you have any questions. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, kindly hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. See you all soon in my next video. Till then, goodbye, peace and blessings.